everyone, it's Whitney. We're back with another home product review video. This time we were talking about vacuums. Now I have found myself with a slew of vacuums recently, a few that I've had for about four or five years and a couple that I've inherited from a tenant who just moved out. And I have a couple new ones to share with you. So I'm gonna be talking about three upright vacuums, one stick vacuum and one little handheld vacuum. So if you are excited about vacuums, let's get going. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Whitney and I help you DIY a cozy home and help you spend your money wisely with home product reviews like this, DIY home renovations, DIY thrift flips, upcycles, DIY home decor, all that kind of stuff. So if you like videos like that, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. All right, let's start off with the big kahunas. These are the upright corded ones. All three of these I'm gonna be talking about today are all the Shark brand. I used to buy like the $70 Bissell ones from Target a long time ago when I just got my first apartment. Those are okay, but once I switched to Shark, holy cow, the suction, on all of these shark vacuums is unparalleled. Now I haven't tried a lot of Dyson products. Those are a little bit too pricey for me. So this one is the most expensive. This is the Shark Rotator Professional. The one thing that I really like about the Shark Rotator Professional is the lift away option. But if that option is not necessary for you, then the next one I'm gonna talk about is awesome. So I am gonna be showing you details of these vacuums, but I've been using these vacuums for years and they're kind of dirty, so don't judge me too hard, okay? It has little headlights here. It is bagless. This holds 1.3 quarts. So when this is full and you're trying to empty it to get this off, you just pull these little buttons right here and it comes right out, super easy to dump. So for the buttons on top, you got your power button here, you got your brush roll here. Sometimes if you're vacuuming hard floors and you don't want the brush roll, you can just click this down and the brush roll will disengage. So it's just the suction, it's not the roll turning. The buttons over here, you have the lift away. So if you wanna take this part off of the base, you just press this button here, I'll show you in a second. And this is the wand really. So you just press this down so you can take this out. So to keep the hose from like wiggling around, it has this cute little like hose ball thing. I don't know what this is called, but I think it's like super adorable. This comes with a ton of the standard accessories. I have lost quite a few of them. Uh, so we have this one. All right, before I show you the lift away feature, I'm going to show you the wand. So you can take this out of there and just use this by itself. So this is what the lift away is. You push that down and this disconnects from this whole base down here. So now I can do a little shimmy walk around in a vacuum like this. You can also disconnect this hose with this button down here and put your attachments directly onto here. So if you're doing stairs, or you could leave this on and put the attachment onto here and then get up really high. Like ceiling cobwebs, curtain rods, I don't know. So very versatile. Voila! The band's back together. You're probably gonna regret doing this, but let's do it for the sake of science. Oh God. So we got rice. And we got flour. really well. It picked up the rice okay, but there was a lot of kickback on the rice. And I'm not sure if that's going to happen to all of these. I've never done this experiment before, but I would say it did a pretty good job on that, on that test. Although I do really like the lift away option on here, it's just a little bit clunky. It's a little bit heavier than the other two I'm going to talk about. And the rotation isn't that great. I mean, I know it's called the shark rotator, but um, it's just, it's a little, it's a little clunky when you're just stand up vacuuming the floor. Future Whitney here, hi, a couple things. Firstly, I did this test again with the brush roll off and it worked so much better. It didn't kick back the rice at all. So if you're picking up a lot of like hard crumbs, turn the brush roll off and you won't have them flying all over the place. Secondly, a client of mine just bought the brand new version of this one and it is light years better than the one that I have. It is a little bit lighter. The rotation is so much better on his. So I think the issues that I have with mine being a little bit clunky is just because mine is an older version and it's been through the ringer. So if you are looking at this, the newer version is definitely not clunky. So disregard what I said previously about mine because mine is just old. So if you are looking for a corded stand-up vacuum that has really great suction, a large uh, debris tank that has the lift away option, definitely give this a peek. I will have the link listed below. So let's move on to the next shark. It's the Shark Navigator Deluxe. 
So we were just talking about the Shark Rotator Professional. This is the Shark Navigator Deluxe. Now I have had this vacuum for five years. I got it at Target. It was $1.99 then. I'm pretty sure it's still $1.99 now. You guys, this has been one of my favorite vacuums that I've ever owned. The suction power in here is phenomenal. I have two dogs and there is carpet in part of the house and this thing does such a good job, it's incredible. I had an older vacuum where I'd vacuum the carpet and I thought it would be clean, then I'd go over it with this and the tank would be full. Like, what? So if you have pets or if you have carpet and you don't care about the lift away option of the other one, this one, this one hands down. If you have carpet or if you have pets, 100%. So this one does not have any bells and whistles on it. It's pretty standard, pretty straightforward. There's an on off button. There's a button where you can remove the tank. And I think that's it. So there are no headlights on this, but that's okay. I don't really need the headlights, I don't think. But this, the tank on here is like twice as big as the other one. This is 3.5 quarts. But holy camoly, suck up all the dirt, baby, because it can fit in there. This is the button to release the tank, so you can empty it out. And here's the power button. There are two different, like, levels of suction if you just click it down one you can do bare floors you can do like shaggier rugs but if you click it down to the second one it is fantastic for carpets so i will turn it on so you can kind of hear the two levels of suction if you're wearing headphones you should probably take those out right now this is going to be loud this is level one and this is level two so this pops out you can unhook it from down here. So you do have a pretty long hose that you can work with. And there are a ton of standard accessories that come with this model as well. And the cool thing is, since this thing has like so much suction, there's like a suction control on here. So if it's closed and you get, you're sucking up something and it's too hard, you can just open this and it'll kind of release. It'll let some of the air out of here so it's like not sucking up your curtains into the vacuum. And I put this thing through the ringer. It tromps up and down the stairs. It goes, it, it's being used probably every other day and this has been a champ for me. I only recently started having issues with it about a month ago where the motor kind of has like a high-pitched whine when it's shutting down. The performance is the same, but just when I turn it off, it kind of takes a second and kind of whines like as it's turning off. Now that's a new noise, so that might mean the motor is going out. Then I'm gonna let you hear it wind down. If anybody knows what this means, let me know. Okay. That like last four seconds didn't used to happen. So if you know what that means, let me know. So if the motor does die and it comes to it and I have to replace this, I have no problem paying another $199 to get this exact same model because I think it's great. Control test number two. <laughs> All right, I will do it on the low power and then we'll redo it again on the high power. Wow. So there was like zero kickback of the rice on that one and that was just the low power. Okay, let's try it again on the high power. So the lower power setting got up the flour and the rice like with no problem. The higher power setting, there was a little bit of kickback on the rice, but it kind of kicked it out to the side and back just a little bit. So like I said before, if you have pets or if you have carpet and you're looking for something that has a large capacity tank, definitely check this out. This has been a favorite of mine for years. I will probably be repurchasing this relatively soon. The next shark navigator I'm gonna be talking about is a smaller one. It's, it's the baby shark, baby sh Oh no, don't do that. Hi, welcome to Future Whitney again. Okay, this is the kind of baby shark of the family. This is the very simple, basic shark navigator. This is the cheapest one that I own. I'm pretty sure this is probably the cheapest version that they make of the shark navigator line. So I bought this on a Black Friday sale from Macy's.com. Originally, it's like 125. I got it for 75 on the Black Friday sale and Macy's ended up sending me two of these um, I ended up calling Macy's they said they didn't need it back So this is important information. It will come in handy in just a second So the pros on this are the price point it is super lightweight easy to maneuver You're still getting that shark brand quality of suction in a smaller and expensive vacuum The cons of this is the debris capacity tank is pretty small. Um, it doesn't have any sort of rotation navigation So it just goes in a straight line You can't rotate the body of it and the extension wand hand thing is just a little bit weird to use it doesn't feel comfortable to use at all so the biggest con I would have to say is I don't think these are built to last very long so when Macy's accidentally sent me the two vacuums I was able to do kind of a two vacuum case study I guess um, 
I got those vacuums three years ago and both of the motors have gone out and so I just don't think that these are built to last as long or built as well as the other two sharks I was talking about this is the cheaper version and you're gonna get what you pay for so this is a very simple basic body there are no headlights the tank is relatively small this is just the release to get your tank off. Power button, there's only one power. There's no double setting. And then your brush roll, if you want to disengage your brush roll when you're vacuuming hard floors. So when you wanna take this little like arm extension off, you can either undo it from here and have a longer extension, or you can undo it from here. But then you're kind of stuck with this long curvy handle and this kind of swivels around. I don't know, it's just not comfortable. It, it doesn't feel right when you're using it and it's just kind of awkward. So if you live in an apartment or a small home and you're not consistently vacuuming for like an Airbnb property, these might last you a little bit longer. So this doesn't totally get the Whitney seal of approval, but I would recommend it if you are looking for a shark vacuum and a lower price point that you know is not gonna last you forever. Um, it might be okay for you, but it's definitely, not my favorite. So I obviously can't do a rice and flour test because she's dead, but um, if she was working, I would do it. I would say the suction is about 75% of what the Shark Navigator Deluxe is. Um, it still, you know, has that shark power, but it's definitely less than the Deluxe. Now let's talk about cordless stick vacuums. Now I've been wanting to get one of these for a while because I like to have some sort of vacuum in the space when I have Airbnb tenants. So if they make a mess or if they want to vacuum up after themselves, they can use this. This is a smaller profile. It stows away super easily and it's easy for guests to use if they need to use it. So this is a battery powered stick vacuum by the brand Pretty Care. It is super lightweight and you guys, this is pretty freaking awesome. So when I first got this vacuum, I set it up, I started charging the battery and I only used it like one or two times. My boyfriend, Mark, he used it and he could not stop raving about this vacuum. I will see if he wants to be in this video and I will get his reaction. If not, um, I'll just tell you what he said. So he was like, this is so great. It's so lightweight. I can take it up and down the stairs. All of the attachments are awesome. He's like, this would be great for anybody who has dexterity issues or elderly people or people who can't lift heavy things because it's so lightweight. He was, he just went on and on about how much he loved this vacuum. So, so since this is battery powered, you can just plug it in right here and charge the whole unit, or you can take the battery out and charge that separately, whatever it is that you want to do. If the stand that you have this in isn't close to an outlet, you can just hang this on the stand, take the battery out and charge the battery separately. So the buttons are very simple. There's just a power button and then there are two different power levels. So on low, this can run for 35 minutes and on high it can run for 20 minutes. So this is low and this is high. There was absolutely zero kickback of the flour or the rice on the low powered mode and the high powered mode. Now I'm gonna have to use this guy to vacuum up all the rice that was kicked back from the other vacuum tests. Stick vacuums like this are fantastic if you have smaller spaces like an apartment or a small home like this. This is just a two bedroom, one bath where I can vacuum the entire house with just one charge of this. Especially if you have hardwood, laminate, tile, any sort of hard surface floors, a stick vacuum is going to be fantastic for you. You can also leave the stick part on, detach the main base and attach one of your little handheld components to the very end so you have a long kind of wand vacuum. This is great for getting in like hard to reach areas. So if you have carpets and rugs and a lot of pet hair that you need to get up, stick vacuums are not going to be the best option for you. You're going to need an upright corded vacuum that has a lot of suction. And that goes for all stick vacuums. A client of mine has the brand new top of the line Dyson V15. It cost him $700 for the stick vacuum. And I would say the same thing about that vacuum as well. So that Dyson one that my client has has a lot of like really cool like techie features to it, but it honestly performs the exact same way as this Pretty Care one. And the Pretty Care one right now is on sale on Amazon for like $120. But $120 versus $700, do you really need to pay an extra like $580 to get the little readout information of how many particles you picked up? 
I don't know, that's your call. I don't need to, but you do you, girl. Like I said before, if you're in a smaller space and you have hard surface floors and you're looking for a stick vacuum, check this out because it's one of the least expensive on Amazon. It's great. It rivals the $700 Dyson vacuum. Definitely give this a look-see because it's quickly becoming one of my favorite vacuums I own. Now let's talk about this little guy. This is a handheld vacuum from Autobot. Now this arrived in PR and I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with a handheld vacuum? And you guys, this is seriously a game changer. The amount of suction on this little handheld thing is phenomenal. Two different power settings on here. The lower one is great if you want to do just like a desktop or like some little shelves. But the second setting, holy cow, I had no idea that a handheld vacuum like this could pack this much of a suction punch. Now if you have dogs and you take them in the car with you, this is a game changer. I love to keep this in my car to kind of quickly get up all of that pet hair. And this might sound like really weird and maybe gross i don't know but i'm just gonna tell you because we're friends right um i do wear a lot of black so when i am going to a client's house and i have like black pants on or black leggings on i will take this out and like literally vacuum my pants <laughs> And here's the charger, it has a USB charging port end, so I just keep this in my car and then I can charge this in my car so it's always ready to go whenever I need it. It has this little attachment that just kind of snugs right in there so you can vacuum with the attachment. It's kind of like an upholstery tool. This little thing is amazing. So again, if you're wearing headphones, it's gonna be pretty loud. I'm gonna show you the two different settings. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. And I feel like this almost has the same amount of suction power as like a stand-up vacuum in this little tiny thing. And you guys, the company just sent this to me in PR. They're not paying me to say these things. And I am super impressed by this. You can get it on Amazon. Don't have any rice here, so we're gonna do granola. So this is like a two-in-one attachment. There's a slot nozzle that you can get into like corners with, or you can just push this up, click it into lock. And then you can do like fabrics with this. So I'm not gonna attach it while we're doing this test. We're just gonna use the open nozzle here. Nifty difty little thing, huh? So when you want to clean it out, you just push this little button down, the lid flids open. And you just shake it on out of there. And you can clean the filter as well. Just unscrew the top and then twist this part out. You can clean this filter off. You can rinse this part out. So this is really nice and super easy for cleanup. Down here, it does look like you could charge this on like a charging pad, but I think you have to buy that separately. So if you wanted just to charge this by like sitting it on like a charge pad, you could do that, but you have to buy that when you buy this. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on today's home product review. I hope you got some good vacuum information. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite vacuums are. I am super curious to know, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.